And I think that um, if you um, uh, get involved in any kind of uh, problem problem solving in depth on almost anything, it uh, is surprisingly similar to uh, uh, problem solving of anything. You know, uh, I started out by just you know getting a camera and learning how to take pictures and learning how to print pictures and learning how to build a dark room and learning how to do all the technical things and. Uh, so on and so on, and then finally trying to find out how you could uh, sell pictures and become a, you know, would it be possible to be a professional photographer? And it was a case of over a period of, say, from the age of 13 to uh, 17, uh, you might say, uh, going through step by step by myself without anybody really helping me, the problem solving of being becoming a photographer. And I found that, um, I think, in looking back, that uh, the uh, this particular thing about problem solving is something that uh, schools generally don't teach you and that uh, if you can develop uh, a kind of generalized approach to problem solving that uh, it's surprising how it helps you in anything you know and that most of the most of the uh, deficiencies that uh, you see around you in people that uh, say are you don't think particularly you're doing their job right or something, is really that, I mean, assuming that they care, and, you know, a lot of people that appear to care or may actually care are still not uh, going about things particularly the right way. It, when you think about it, I generally find that it's just that they don't have a good generalized approach to problem solving. They're not thorough. They uh, don't consider all the possibilities. They don't prepare themselves with the right information and so forth. So I think that photography, uh, though it seemed like a hobby, and, uh, but, and, and ultimately led to a professional job in photography, uh, might have been more valuable than, uh, you know, uh, doing the proper things in school.